Welcome back to Diary of a Speed Reader. Today's book is The Penguin Book of Space Exploration by John Logsdon, and I'm giving it four stars. This week, we're focused on space, and so much of human knowledge, technological advancement, and innovation comes from the desire to go up into the air. This book in particular is great if you're trying to understand how the U.S. put the first person on the moon. And it's more than just the technology, the politics that goes into it, the way that you actually navigate uh, getting people to want to fund it. All of that is here in this book in primary source material. It's incredibly interesting. And I'm going to give you three takeaways. First thing has to do with what it actually takes to get coordinated effort into the moon. And in the 60s and 70s, it had to do with trying to get the US government to fund it. The Russians had already made it up before we had, and their space program was years ahead of ours. But the potentiality of being the first to land on the moon was a big enough deal where it could warrant the funding and redirection of resources from social services and all other things. So, and Kennedy was crystal clear about that in numerous letters. It's very interesting to read. The second thing really has to do with an understanding of what the lives of astronauts really are. Of course, we talk a lot about what it is for them to be in space and stuff, but did you know that their stories, uh, at least in the 60s, were already sold to Life magazine? Part of really investigating their backgrounds, who they are, who their families are, was because we knew that the press would go nuts and really hold them to this high caliber and as such. And that's intriguing because, in fact, we do all look and admire uh, the astronauts, the people that make it up into space. It's a really big deal. And this book makes it all the more clear on what they have to go through, how they're selected, etc. Finally, the book, despite its title and subtitle, does go into Obama's decision to allow much of the space program to go private. And I think the book here, it's a little bit of a criticism for me. They do speak to the idea that more resources would be needed, the sustainability, the ability not to be so massively influenced every four years by what was going on in Congress. All of that is vital as it would be for any corporate project. I think that they there are a couple of other books that I'm going to preview this week that do a slightly better job on the financing of it and what it actually means from a business perspective to allow private enterprise to be a bigger part of it as well as what what role they've played historically. Still an important and relevant point to anyone that's trying to understand what's going on in space. Speed reading stats. This book is 314 pages. It took me 48 minutes to read. I'd like to thank everybody for liking, sharing, commenting, or otherwise supporting this effort. I am currently in Mumbai, India, and read this one in route from Munich over. So I'm a little bit jet lagged, um, but it means a lot to me that you guys are watching this, and I hope you're enjoying this. See you tomorrow.